Good evening, everyone. I'm Nathan here with my wonderful wife, Laura. Hello. And we're here to look at Monopoly for Soul Losers, which is made just for me. Yeah, Nathan's a bit of a soul loser or a bad sport sometimes yes. when he loses. Crack the wobblies. <laughs> uh, but uh, this version of Monopoly says, don't get sad, get even. Yes, Ooh. so it's a fairly new one. Um, the idea is the more bad things that happen to you, the more you can get back at the other person. Essentially, yes. That's a very short way of saying it. Monopoly's, uh, Mr. Monopoly's very sad on the front there, he though, is. by He's the way. He is. crying and using money crying as tissues. Crying money. Mm. Yep. <laughs> uh, there's a bit of a look at what you're going to see inside. Let's just Let's open just it up open and it. have a closer look. Uh, we're just doing a review of this today because, obviously, Monopoly games can get quite long. Um, yes, this one, however, can go really quick depending on your luck. Yes. Or unluck. Yes, and so far we've played this a couple of times off camera, uh, and uh, Nathan hasn't had any luck. No. <laughs> All right, uh, we will have a scan of the instructions in the description down below. Uh, as you said, this is quite a new Monopoly, though. I can't imagine you'd be finding this secondhand without no. instructions so, at this stage, no. but they're there if you need them. So the aim, as all Monopolies are, is to bankrupt your opponents. Although in this version, there is an alternate way that you can also finish the game. Yes. Um, so basically bankrupt them, or if all the properties are owned, then every, all players make their way back around to go, and then the, game val ends yeah, that way the values instead. are counted up from the remaining like properties and money that each person has. Yes. Uh, we have yet to have that particular outcome occur, though. Uh, I've bankrupted Nathan both times we've played, so I'm sure the other way is possible. I think if you had uh, the maximum players rather than I just the so, two... I think so, because the properties would go a lot quicker. Agreed, yeah. You just kept landing on... The same ones. So, <laughs> um, so what's unusual or, or normal about this is it's actually a full-length board, so it's got yes. every all the normal properties. Mm -hmm. um, I know some versions only have like instead of three properties, they've only got two. And depending on what it's depending is. on version, so they're all the regular properties. Yep, all the same things like chance and uh, community chest. You know, go to jail. There is one change Parking. though. Um, with the utilities. Yes, yeah, so let's turn around. So instead of buying the water or electric company, you actually have to pay your water bill or electricity, electricity bill. bill. Yeah, so just another way that you can hand off some money. <laughs> so basically, basically um, the aim of the aim of the game is to obviously bankrupt it, and you can do that by becoming Miss Monopoly by cashing in Soul Loser tokens. Now, what? Okay, are, how about we? How about we grab the tokens? What bring, are bring Soul Loser back. tokens, Laura? These are these little tokens here. Oh. It's got an angry Miss Monopoly face. He's like, hmm, with a raised eyebrow. Uh, it's on both sides. So you need to collect four of these Soul Loser tokens so that you can then become Mr. Monopoly. This big piece here. So you then, uh, when that happens, you then swap this Mr. Yeah, Monopoly so you, for your you regular playing piece. you put your playing piece in the middle of the board and then wherever your piece was, you put Mr. Monopoly down there instead. Yes, so uh, the way that you get these sore loser tokens so that you can become Mr. Monopoly is, is by basically having bad things happen to you. Yeah, so <laughs> here's a, just a quick rundown if it focuses. So basically you get one sore loser token if you pay rent, mm -hmm. pay taxes, go to jail for any reason, land on your own property. God, that's annoying. Because <laughs> you can't do anything if you already own it. And if you draw a card that says to collect one for whatever outcome. Yep. You also collect a sole loser token if Miss Monopoly lands on your playing piece. Mm -hmm. And when you land on free parking, you can steal one sole loser token from any player. Yep, it actually does say that in the bottom corner down here, steal one sole loser coin. So uh, you do have to collect four. As I said, when that happens, you say, I'm turning in my sole loser tokens. At the start of your turn. Pop this on the board instead, and depending on who you're playing as, obviously you toss them into the middle, as Nathan said. So the oh. playing pieces are actually a little bit different. I like the playing pieces. So instead of just having the boat or ship, we have a sinking ship. Because, you know, it's sad. And yeah, because it's, it's, it's losing. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can get a clear picture. What are we having next? We have the angry penguin. He's a little bit crossed. difficult to see. He's got his arms crossed. Well, I'm not doing it anymore. And his face is quite menacing if you can kind of see that up then close. Then we have the regular car, but it's got a car boot on it. You know, like a, a lock on the wheel. Oh, it's got a parking ticket no. or something. Oh, no. Then we have the cat, but it's trying to hide from the world. Cover its face. Poor puss puss. Uh, then we have... An angry T-Rex. I imagine he's making a very loud, rah, sort of noise out of frustration. And then we have sad flat dog. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. 
All right, so when you become Mr. Monopoly, you have a whole bunch of pretty useful things that you can so do to get even. <laughs> you're pretty much invincible when you're Mr. Monopoly. Essentially. Um, you can't collect any more sore loser tokens, though, when you are Mr. Monopoly. So only the other players will be able to keep yeah, collecting Yeah, so you those. start, I'm not sure you mentioned it, you start with two sore loser tokens at the start of the game, mm -hmm. and you need four to cash in to become Mr. Monopoly. Yep. This is hollow at the bottom, by the way, there which is comes a reason. into play if you land on another player while you're Mr. Well, Monopoly, you go right over the top of him. Here's a, a quick... Um, sort of the, the cards that have all the quick sort of rules on them. Yeah, very handy. When you miss a Monopoly, you, whenever anyone rolls a double, any you or another player, you can then put a house anywhere. Which is so useful. So we actually rolled a ton of doubles when we played, just randomly, uh, while I was Mr. Monopoly, and only while I was Mr. Monopoly. Uh, and, and I managed to, I don't know, I ended up with like three houses on all of my single now, properties. when we say <laughs> any property, we mean any property, even if A, it's unowned, mm -hmm. or if you don't have a full color set. Yes. So pretty much if I go, okay, I've only got, mm, gee, I've only got Bow Street, mm -hmm. I can go, well, I'm gonna put, Three houses on there, three doubles a roll. If you happen to get the if three doubles get the rolls. while you're Mr. Monopoly. Yes. Uh, what else? Uh, when you land on the same space as another player, you steal one of their properties, but only if it's not part of a full set. Yeah, so you would, on the board, put Mr. Monopoly over the top of that person's token. That also includes if they've got houses, so Bow Street again, I've got three houses, I don't have a full set. If Laura lands on me, she can take Bow Street and then inherit said houses on that property. Yeah, so the person you land on when you're Mr. Monopoly, they also get a, a sore loser token to help them collect towards their four. And when I, I'll go back to the houses again, Bow Street, three houses, if someone lands on it, they pay the three house amount on Bow Street, even if um, you don't have all three. Yes, because so, there's houses on it. Exactly. However, Yes, however. <laughs> uh, there's more for Mr. Monopoly. So, yeah, I'm trying to read the card over Nathan just to make sure we cover everything. Because there's a lot a lot involved with this. Uh, if, if you land on um, someone else's property that's owned, they pay you the amount of rent that you would normally pay them. Yeah, so in the scenario Nathan was talking about where he's managed to get three houses on Bow Street, I come along and land on his Bow Street, he's going to check how much three houses are on Bow Street and, then and give that Laura. money to me instead, even though I've landed on him. So, again, being Mr. Monopoly is pretty awesome. Um, if you land on any um, utility bills, income tax, things like that, instead of you paying to the bank, you get that money instead. Again, only as Mr. Monopoly. If you're just a regular piece, you do not get that. And you can never go to jail. If you land on the go-to-jail space, you can send someone else to jail instead. In your place. In your yep. place. Um, I will mention... We we reread re -read the instructions several times. Um, once you become Miss Monopoly, from what we understand, um, you stay Mr. Monopoly until someone else becomes Mr. Monopoly by cashing in sore loser tokens. That's what we're assuming. It doesn't actually say in the instructions like how long you are Mr. Monopoly. So what we've done is just stayed as him, say I got it first, and then when Nathan has four sore loser tokens, he'll then turn them in, and then he'll become Mr. Monopoly instead. Um, the other option, I suppose, if you wanted to put in a house rule, because again, it does not say either is way. Is it you're only one monopoly for maybe one round a of the board, of or like or one dice roll? Yeah. Um, and that, also, again, that would be a house rule. It does not say that in the instructions. There was, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there was a, so basically to collect saw loser tokens, you have to do one of these sort of things, you pay mm -hmm. rent, blah, blah, blah. But um, for instance, if I land on free parking, uh, as not Mr. Moppet, as myself, but there's no other players with any um, tokens, then I can't steal one. I don't get a token, even though it's an annoying thing that you think would earn you a token. Yeah. So there's a couple of, um, it's really a house rule sort of one. So play it one or two times and then put your own sort of uh, modifications on the existing rules in place, I think. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, so it has two dice, just like the regular version, except they are black with red dots on them instead of, you know, the usual white that they come with. Um, the properties there, apart from being black in color, um, they're pretty much identical. They've got the same values. Mm -hmm. you know, the, oops, yep. Whoa! You have the same mortgage, mortgage information. information. On the um, I think the chance cards and things have some different flavor text. Let me get some. Yeah. So the chances and uh, community chest, although they are in general the same 
types of things. Some of them are a little bit more modern, as you can yeah, see so there. With Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi bill, pay uh, 100 to the bank and get one sore loser token. Yeah, and then it's got the addition of what happens regarding sore loser tokens and if you are or are not Mr. Monopoly at the and time. And then there's ridiculous cards like this. Immediately trade any one of your properties for any one of one's properties. They must accept the trade, but you can't uh, trade properties that are part of a complete set. Mm -hmm. So um, this is one of the games, like I said, despite the fact it's got the full board and all the properties, can end very quickly because if someone's Monopoly, missed Monopoly for a while and they happen to land, you land on a bad space. That was how I bankrupted uh, you last time. Yeah, we only played like 10 turns in and I was already gone because you kept rolling doubles and I landed <laughs> on one of the properties that had all the houses on it. Yeah, well, no, I landed on you. Uh, so Nathan thought he was being really smart, you know, getting all these houses on a property, but then I landed on it as Mr. Monopoly. And of course, that means he has to pay me and that's what yeah. bankrupted him. So um, You've got feelings, yeah. express them, steal any one property. You can't steal one from a complete set. Uh, choose one player, they must immediately pay you rent for their least expensive property. So there's a couple of different ones in here. Uh, mainly, mostly to generate um, sore loser, loser coins. Tokens, yeah. um, I will say that when I was playing, um, I just happened to get an unlucky run and I couldn't get any sore loser tokens, <laughs> which <laughs> no. meant Laura was Mr. Monopoly for longer. Which is why we suggest maybe in some cases it's a good idea to have that house rule of maybe only being Mr. Monopoly for a certain amount of turns because if no one else has four tokens, you just missed a monopoly. You're just laughing and, about for and a you, long time. Yeah, um, and this is definitely one it can be played with two players. Really needs more than two players to get the most out of it. I think to have Mr. Monopoly changing more often. Uh, the money is standard Identical. monopoly money. Yep, you know, your ones, your fives, tens, twenties, fifties, five hundreds. I will say this is a much um, better thought out game than Monopoly Cheaters. So I, yeah. I think we've got a... Do we have a review of Monopoly Cheaters? I, I can't remember. I don't think we do, no. Um, yeah, so this has a lot more going on and there's always something happening where I think Monopoly cheaters, because obviously we're married and we know each other, <laughs> it's very hard to get past things over each other's heads. Yeah. Uh, so then we have the hotels, which black are red, red, although I think a slightly different shape than some of the older I think games. So. Uh, and little black houses there as well. Uh, I think that's about everything that makes this version different to... The regular ones? Yeah. Um, I quite like the idea of it, but obviously I've had pretty good luck what we've been playing thus far. Um, and again, I, I do think more players would make it more exciting. Let us know if you've had any house, if you've got this and if you've made any house rules or if you happen to know how long you're actually supposed to be Mr. Monopoly for. Or yeah, any sort of... I, I wish it said. I wish it said you stay there, you, know, you stay as Mr. Monopoly until... You've had this many turns until another player obtains him. I'm assuming it's that way. I, um, that, that's how we read it because it, 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 the wording sort of indicates, indicates that. Indicates that way, yeah. Uh, so that, that's how we'll probably play it unless we're putting in those house rules that we mm. suggested. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below if you've spotted this version of Monopoly uh, near you or maybe you've already picked it up and had a go. And What, what did you think? Nathan has nothing to say. He's just packing up. No, I'm just thinking about the times you beat me. Now I feel like a sore loser. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.